Hello everybody, Graysteel Plays, and we're back with more RimWorld Psycho Edition No Time for BS. Check this out. This episode was made back to back with my last episode, so if you ask to be added as a female, I haven't done that yet. Mike155 was next on the list though, so he is taking up the spot of our resident master artisan. Literally, after I got done with the last episode, and if you check the time, it's probably the exact same time since we got done. A Manhunter pack of rhinoceroses showed up. Yes, folks. Six rhinoceri coming right at us. There's a lot of things that I wanted to do, too. I wanted to expand this area, and I want to get all of this plasteel out of here. So I increased our stockpile zone over here. And plasteel doesn't have a uh, durability. So there's no reason for us to keep this plasteel like this. So I'm going to have it going outside. Beer, interestingly enough, does not need to be refrigerated, which is good. Well, not interestingly enough, it shouldn't need to be refrigerated, but I'm just saying I'm glad it doesn't need to be refrigerated. We are going to have to take care of these rhinoceroses, though. Few things that we can do here. Very first thing, Gypsy, you are not going to go head-to-head -head with a mother frickin' rhinoceros, so please go and man the guns. Pete, you know where to go, as well as Jessica. <laughs> Or Jessica, LOL. I don't really know how we want to consider her. Juliet, just keep doing what you're doing. No big deal. Silver hair, man the gun complex, please. Derpy Duck is going to be one of our firing individuals. Diaz, also going to be one of our firing individuals. Zell Goddess will be taking up a position over in this quadrant. And then, on top of this... I need Takuki. Please go ahead. Let me go ahead and turn this on so that we can utilize this. Flick this switch. And Mike, we don't have a weapon for you yet, man. Let me see if I can get you... What do we have just kind of laying around weapons-wise? We got a few things over here. Got this other minigun, man. I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's what we need. You're a shooter, aren't you? You sure are. Hold on, what kind of shooter are you? Are you a careful shooter? I feel like you are. You're a careful shooter. I don't really know if a minigun is the right way to do this, but whatever. Who cares? You're getting a freaking minigun. I think that that's just about everyone at this point. We could mortar these things if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. Just because I'd rather just get everyone into position right now. Uh, Silver-Haired Devil, you know what you're going to be doing. Wow, they are coming in hot and heavy, man. Everyone get into frickin' position. Oh, what a horrible sound these things make. Run, Zelgoddess. Oh, Jesus, we don't have these turrets up. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, Zelgoddess. Takuki, where the hell are you? Oh, God, you're way over there. Oh, boy. Uh, you are now drafted and off a draft. Please... Hold on. Let me draft you real quick. Please flick this switch. Um, and then to Kuki, you can, yes, continue sewing the area for right now. Turn on the damn turrets! Zell Goddess, use that minigun! Yeah, baby! Oh, the hailfire of bullets! Where are you going? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jessica! Um... Let me think about this for a second. How fast are these things? Jessica, what kind, of, what kind of person are you? Are you fast? Are you fast enough to run away from a bunch of rhinoceroses? Oh, mother of Jesus. Oh, I don't have a door here. That is a mistake. That is a big mistake. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, silver hair. Please go this way. Jessica. Um, oh god. Oh, mother of Jesus. Oh, I think we're right about the same speed here. Keep running, Silver here. Jessica, get inside! For the love of God, Jessica, run! Uh, Silver here, you as well. Get inside. Oh, Top Notch King! What the hell happened to you? Run, Jessica! Oh god! Oh, Jessica! Silver hair devil! Get over here, man! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, Takuki! <laughs> oh, Jesus! 
Okay. Okay, all right, enough with the miniguns. I think everyone's down. Um, oh, top-notch kick. I'm so sorry, brother. What happened to you? Oh, look at all the bullet holes that's in this poor bastard. She got one little bullet hole as well. Okay. Let's get everyone all fixed up. Uh, Jessica, please go back to your, you know, go back to resting, please. Gonna need to, uh, gonna need to take all the bullets out of you guys. And then we will, oh, look at you. Yeah, you're getting freaking euthanized. Freaking rhinos coming up in here, tearing the place up. Going all nuts in there, have you? Gypsy Diva, you can go do whatever you please. I don't need you, uh, I don't need you just sitting there. God, poor Top Notch King. I did not put you in the appropriate place. And I feel terrible about my failure. Oh, my failure. Let's, uh, reinstall this over here. For right now. Oh, man, we need to get a new room. ASAP for a hospital. And where do I want to make the hospital at? I don't even know where I want to make this at. Maybe like way up here. I'm not really sure. Uh, we can take this vitals monitor out of here though to do that. I want to get this going right away though. Zelgadis, Diaz, you're butchering. Takuki's consuming a fine meal. Mike is tending. Derpy Duck is repairing. Go ahead and move this blueprint. And we do have a combat supplier as well. I need to consider that. So taking a rhinoceros to the bed. Um, I mean, that's awesome. But let's go ahead and grab this combat supplier while it's still around. We'll we'll deal with the we'll deal with the rhinoceros in a little bit. <laughs> okay. So buying wise, we can buy oh a whole crap ton of medicine. And we are absolutely going to do that so that we can make another hospital bed. And while we're doing this, we can sell quite a bit of beer. But honestly, I like my beer. We can sell the limestone club, the sandstone club. We got a steel spear there. Uh, a marble club. That's not bad. A baton, a wooden baton. Just a bunch of crap that we don't need right here. We've got this plast steel knife. It's not really doing great, so we'll go ahead and sell that. Got a couple of normal plast steel knives. Not worry about all this. Go ahead and sell all this crap. And a lot of, like, really random melee weapons. Uh, Van Sidium. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that correctly. Bunch of pilas that we don't need. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and sell all of these that we can. A couple of great bows to get out of here as well. The survival rifle? I don't think we need this anymore. We're going to be getting a lot of uh, a lot of decent things. We just don't need that anymore. Elephant shirts. Fox skin shirts. This cloth parka isn't bad, but it's pretty beat up, so we don't need it. Let's see we can sell this. Those pants are still pretty good. Snow hair leather pants. Oh, we can buy that. I got gotcha. you. Uh synthread pants and shirt not in really good condition. We'll go sell that. Personal shield is okay. These personal shields are okay as well. Got some power armor for us to buy, but quite frankly, I think we're going to eventually buy our own power armor. Okay, let's do this. Now that that's done, we can start on some hospital beds. Let's go ahead and start doing this. We're going to make this out of steel. I want at least two more hospital beds. I want hospital beds for freaking days, quite honestly. Hospital beds everywhere, and while we're doing this, let's start making some more rooms as well. We need at least a couple more rooms here for uh, for colonists to, to live in. So where do I want to put some additional rooms? I think I'm going to keep them maybe up here I'll make a room. I'm just going to need to move this doorway when I do this. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to make another nice room here so that everyone can actually have a room because as of right now, I think Mike doesn't legitimately have one. So, oh, what kind of blocks do we have? I haven't looked at this in a while. Marble blocks, which I don't want to use. Sandstone. Okay. Sandstone's fine. Not worried about that. We don't need anything like super tough. Sandstone blocks right here. Let's go ahead and do a nice sandstone door. And I'm going to try and use, let me see here. 
I'm going to try and put this over here. And we're going to put a door out here, here. And we're going to take this door. We're going to deconstruct it. And eventually what we'll do is we will put... We'll put something... Um, we'll put a wall there. Exotic goods trader. Oh, this is this is very fortunate. We're going to be able to sell all these damnable freaking millions of iguanas that we have. And we'll get some good um, numbers on snakes too. Pretty interested in that. Jessica, go ahead and rest until you're healed. There we go. Yeah, let's... Oh, wow. Jessica is, like, freaking healed, man. She is, like... She is, like, healed immediately. Top Notch King, though, has a lot of... of <laughs> he got the shit kicked out of him. Vitals Monitor. Let's go ahead and reinstall this up here. Get this done right away. And if you guys could, please get as much done as you can. Not much Devil Strand... Uh, fixed up right now. Mike, are you just sleeping on the floor? Yeah, you are. Uh, I think once you start sleeping on the floor, there's, like, nothing you can do about that. I think, like, once you start sleeping on the floor, you're screwed. So, I'm just gonna let that happen. This thing over here has a euthanize option. I'm kind of surprised that Silverhair is, like, repairing it first. But, whatever. That's plenty of mood. So, Silverhair, what are you doing, man? You're resting? Uh. Please euthanize this. Yeah, go ahead and operate on the frickin'... There we go. Yeah, rip him apart. There we go. Euthanasia complete. Silverhair, how is your frickin' medicine doing? There we go. It's up to 11, finally. It took quite a while, though. Let everyone go to sleep for a while. Top Notch King slowly has all those minigun shots fading away. Fading away. Very good. That's what I like to see. Jessica still trying to recruit Jung. Kind of interesting here that it's we're, we're still not really getting anywhere. I'm going to move this monitor over here, though. Juliet, if you could please talk with these individuals, because there is a lot of stuff that we can sell. A lot of stuff. Wow, those cobras are worth some dough, man. Look at that. They're worth about three times more than all the iguanas. Uh, yeah. Let's sell 20 iguanas. <laughs> sell 20 iguanas. Sell these iguanas. Uh, this iguana, this iguana, this iguana. And let's not sell all the iguanas, man. We need some iguana. We need these ones here, I think. Uh, and we probably have a bunch of iguanas, um, we probably have a bunch of iguana eggs getting ready here. A lot of little tiny cobras. Baby cobras. 50 bucks for a baby cobra. Compared to 32 bucks for a juvenile iguana. And then these, I'm assuming, are adults. Yeah, this is like a full, a full cobra. <laughs> we don't have any juvenile cobras yet. So I'm going to let the Cobras continue to grow. We're going to sell all those. Got nine Iguana eggs that are going to be ready fairly soon. I got some Thrumbo fur that we could sell if we wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to. They've got a lot of components that we can buy. Well, some components that we can buy. We're kind of getting low on components. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit freaked out by that. I'm really surprised. Oh, a kidney that we haven't sold. How did we miss that? The last guy didn't want the kidney? I don't know. Prosthetic arm. We do need that because we need to continue our prosthesis. Elephant tusks, thrombo horns. Oh, here we go. Finally, we can sell this frigging tribal wear. Look at this crap. Oh, my God. This is all garbage. Garbage, garbage, all of it. Garbage. Screw this armor vest. You know what? We're going to start making freaking... Um, we're going to start making powered armor. I don't even care about this. Garbage. It's all garbage. Give us all that money, man. 1300 bucks so far from all this. Man, you save enough crap. And it's it really starts to, like, be worth something. Tell you what, personal shield I might save. Synthred t-shirt, though, is garbage. And you know what? I'm going to get rid of these vests as well. Kevlar helmets I think I'll keep just because we don't really have very many of them. And there's a couple of statues for sale and some tube television. Get more gold, too, if we wanted to. Hmm. You know what? Let's get 
let's get like a uh, hundred. Hold on a second. You know what? Frig it. Let's get all the gold. Screw it. Give me all your gold. Golden beds for everyone. Golden beds for everyone. We need to get power up here too. Which we do not have right now. Power, how do I want this to go? We're going to have this go this way. And I think that that should keep everything connecting well. And then, Mike, we're going to get you a bed in just a moment. Oh, while we're at it, let's go and grab this wall. We're going to build a copy of it. Oh, that's a forbidden option. Very interesting. There we go. And now I'm starting to get these, these hotkeys down. Uh, we can unforbid this. And Mike, oh, there we go. Top Notch King finally done. He had gotten the crap kicked out of him, but he's fine now. This bed we can probably take out of here and put over to here. And it doesn't need to be a, it doesn't need to be a hospital bed anymore. This can just be an average bed. Excellent. And this can be assigned to Mike. There you go, Mike. Now you have a real place to live in. Oh, plasteel for days going on over here. How long are we allowed to drill this? I'm very surprised. The derpy duck, you must be wearing something by force, I'm assuming. Dromedary leather pants. That is why. Let's take that off of you. I don't want you wearing pants that are garbage. I would much rather have you wearing decent pants. You're not, are you considered naked now or what does this do? Hold on, let's go over here. Okay, he's not naked, so that's good. Moving over here to the bionics area, I think it's about time to craft a bionic arm, if you know what I mean. And this is so that we can get started on our other bionic guy. Now, man, we've got fires? Where are these fires at, man? Oh, very, very little fire way over there. Breakdown in the machining table. Man, this these freaking storms are going nuts over here. Jesus. Pete. Let's see. Uh, We're going to need crafting for this. And Zelgatus. All right. Zelgatus, you are the best when it comes to bionics. So please go ahead and start on that. And we just got an eclipse as well. Man! You don't get any luck. More iguana eggs, and I think one of the... One of the cobras actually ended up eating one of the iguana eggs. Not too happy about that. Oh! Ooh. Speaking of which... This is a... This is someone's bedroom. So, we need to get an area for... Let me think about this now. We need to get an area for a hospital. So, for a hospital, where would I want to put this? Maybe we'll put it down... I mean, right now, we're kind of just using this as the hospital. Well, I can also move him. But I feel like I want to keep most of my people on the upper end. So, I think I'll make our hospital down here. Um, but I need to be cognizant of this cooler. So... And let me just make sure that... Where's the drill at? There we go. I just want to make sure... Yeah, you can see there's actually some area that we can mine over here. So let's go ahead and make some walls here. You see here, we got the forbid, the unforbid. So why for the, for the hotkeys? I don't know, man. I don't like the hotkeys that much. I think I'm just, I, I've been doing it the old-fashioned way for so long that I'm just faster doing it that way. I don't know. All right, we'll put this like this. We don't need anything too big right now. And this is going to be our hospital area. And that should serve as a fine hospital area. I'm not too worried about it. We can put a light out there, too, when the time comes. Everyone's going to sleep, though, for right now. Holy crap! Man, this these storms are crazy! Freaking lightning striking everywhere! Although, when I look at all this plasteel, everything seems so much better. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, top-notch king. Freaking get that crap. We got a lot of meat here, man. 
La oh my god, 1500 rhinoceros meat. You gotta be freaking kidding me. We've got so much rhinoceros meat. We can't even we can't even store any of this stuff anymore. Oh crap. This door is open right now. Oh, this is bad. Um okay, I need someone to handle this. In fact, I need to increase I need to further increase our our area. Um Okay, real quick, let me be right back and let me just kind of get this done real fast. All right, I got this set up, so now we have a little bit more room, and man, we needed the more room too. Holy Jesus. So you can see right now, we're, we're a little bit more set up here for all the food that we ended up getting. Man, we have more food than... We have more food than I know what to do with. Since we don't want Diaz to just be sitting around, I am going to start on some orders for her. Let's go and continue the strip mining. Continue to see if we can find anything of any kind of value here. Now, we're doing a lot of drilling as well, so that's pretty good. But we can always do it. We can always do more strip mining. We have a lot of plasteel, man. We need some components, though. That's what I really want to see. Yeah, guys, start planting all that friggin' devil strand. We are coming into spring here. This is like growing time city right now. The eclipse is ending, too. That's nice. All right, this this little room is done, so that's good. Let's start uh, let's start reinstalling all this crap down here, so that we can get the hospital the way it should be. Um, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, this shouldn't be installed like this. Everyone shouldn't be like facing the wall. That's a little weird. Let's have them facing the door. That's probably a little bit more appropriate for a bunch of injured people. There we are. And this I'm just going to put down right about here. So get all that going, guys, if you would. And then while we're at it, we'll put a light down here as well. Just so that, uh... Well, because as you know, the lights make everything much, much better for the most part. What the hell is this? A slaver. Oh. What is this? A caravan from Galga Ova. They are a slaver. Uh, all right. Well, that's cool. Whoa, major risk break for who? Mike, why? What's your problem, man? Problem is the hideous environment place is unbearable. And he's been insulted. And he doesn't have a body part. Oh, the body part issue. That's right. Julia, I know that you're trying to recruit Jung real quick, but maybe let's, let's trade with these people real fast. The slavers over here. I just want to see if there's anything kind of useful that we can get going on real quick. Let me see here. We need to start making those golden beds too. Uh, components, pemmican. We can sell junk, but I really don't want to sell junk. <laughs> I want to. I really want to get them on the team. We can't get rid of all these freaking great bows and things of that nature. I don't know what I want to do with these personal shields. Like part of me is like sell them because we can start making powered armor big time. I might even do that. In fact, I might buy these components, too, whenever I see them at this point. That'll probably help out a lot. You know what? Screw these things. We're going to start buying all this, or we're going to start uh, selling all these personal shields and start getting on some powered armor and some other stuff. I want, like, good personal shields, like 100%, you know what I mean? Like, made by us, not shoddy, crappy ones. Let's get all that done. Got our bed over here for Mike, should he need it. Mike, let me think about, well... This used to be called, uh, he used to be called Ravine. That's why that's showing up. The Devil Strand is working out pretty good. Diaz over here, not super happy, I imagine, because of the, the environment that she is in all the time. It's an unpleasant environment, huh? How is your place over here an unpleasant environment? Is it just because you were in an ugly environment? You gotta be kidding me. This is, I mean, this is beautiful. This whole area here. Batteries are starting to charge up a little bit, which is nice. Jung still hasn't joined the team, but we do actually have a decent uh, hospital now. One thing that I need to do, and I think I'm just going to start on this right now, is we need to make more colonist beds. Because if I don't do this now, when Jung finally joins the team, I'm not going to have a friggin' bed for him. So let's go right into making some uh, limestone walls. We want this six. I'm pretty sure six. Two, three, hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right go one more one of these there we go I think to hold on 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it was... It was six. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know, man. It didn't look like the same size. It was really weird. Uh, limestone, limestone door. We're gonna put this over here. And that should... What the crap was that? Muscle parasites? Oh my god! Everyone has muscle parasites! What is this? Hold on. Muscle parasites. Oh my god. Muscle parasites is freaking terrible. And like, everyone got it. The derpy duck. Mike. Everyone has muscle parasites. I don't have enough beds. Uh. Alright, I need to figure something out real quick. Do we have enough medicine to make another hospital bed? I think we do. Jesus, God. Okay. Uh. Let's go ahead and build another bed. Yeah, we have we have enough to build two more beds, in fact. I might build two beds. We need these started right away. Jessica, are you one of the people with muscle parasites? You sure are. Oh, mother of Jesus. All right, start working on this. Um, Top Notch King, start working on this as well. We need this stuff done immediately. And everyone that can be a doctor, congratulations. You're now doctors. Godspeed to all of you. I think we have all of our best people being doctors right now. We need to get everyone treated as soon as possible. Oh my god, muscle parasites, man. This is insane. Yes, start treating people. Get in bed. There we go. People are getting treated. I, man, I, I'm gonna have to stay on top of this? Or does this go away? Next treatment in a day. Wait, how do you get rid of muscle parasites then? Like, is it permanent? Hold on a second here. Muscle parasites. Muscle parasites. Is there, is there like an info area for muscle parasites? Uh, get proper treatment, enough time in bed. All right, well, I mean, he's treated, but what does that mean? Does he still have muscle parasites? Yeah, he sure does. Next treatment in one day, 23 hours. All right. Um, I guess I'll keep an eye on the muscle parasites. I don't know what this means, guys. I've never gotten muscle parasites before. I don't know if this is like a permanent thing or what. It almost kind of looks like it is. I hope not. I don't want to be treating everyone all the time. I'd rather kill all you bastards. Muscle parasites. I don't have time for that bull crap. While we're, uh, while we're doing this, though, let's go ahead and build ourselves another uh, royal bed over here. When at all possible. Man, we're going to have a lot of risk breaks going on here. Oh, God. Oh, this is so bad. So bad. Um, Juliet, do you... I mean, you're pretty good at construction. You're not bad. Um, I don't think... Some people have like a 4 and a 5 and stuff like that. Zelgadis is slightly better. So I think I'm going to take you off of this and have Zelgadis prioritize that. And then we'll put you back to where you were. I'd much rather have her making this bed down there. It's just better that way. Man, major risk breaks all around, man. People are going to start drinking beers left and right. After this after this, this go-through here, I'm going to have to look this stuff up. Never heard of such a thing before. Never, never had muscle parasites. I knew it was a thing. I shouldn't say that. I knew it was something that you could get. I've just never gotten it. So we can turn this off too. There's no reason to keep that on right now just because it's just kind of like wasting energy. Um, major risk break for Zelgadis. Oh, because she is still, like, crafting. Um, go to sleep. Eat a meal if you have to. Go to sleep. Get some shut-eye. Our Devil Strand is way, way made right now, which is good. We still have a lot of meat, too, to make the fine meals. Jung, still not on the team. Holy bejesus. 
there come a huge amount of freaking iguanas. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh my god. Let's go ahead and put you guys in, uh, in the animal area, I guess. Oh, that is insane. Look at all these freaking iguanas. You guys are just wandering around? How are you guys wandering around? I think everyone's in the in the animal area, aren't they? I think they are. Or uh, were you some of the ones that got... I don't know. That's weird. They were just kind of like wandering around. Cargo pods landing down. Let's go check this out real fast. Oh, eye patches. Something else that's completely useless. Now, we did have some cool stuff land, so I shouldn't say that it's always useless or all useless, but I wish that it was something besides frickin' eye patches. Come on. Top Notch King, you're putting this together, huh? I don't know what kind of skill you have when it comes to construction. Uh, your skill at construction, not at all good. Let's, uh, let's get you out of here and have Zelgadis finish this up. And you can go do something else. Now, I don't know what happens when one person finishes a lot of it and then someone finishes it up. Ugh, poor. All right. Well, I guess we can always get it. We can always go again next time, should we need to. How, how far along is this Devil Strand? 6% done, so not very done at all. Looking at everyone's health, just going to check, check out the muscle parasites here. Yeah, we have a couple of muscle parasites, man. Muscle, muscle parasites are still going on. Mike. Let's get you that, uh, let's get you that bionic body part real quick. Zelgadis, please finish up this piece over here. I want to get this done so we can put this on mic as fast as possible. I know you need some rest, but, uh, too freaking bad. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and consume a fine meal. That'll make you a little bit happier, won't it? And then keep working on this damn body part. Blast turrets are done. Nice. So from there, the Vulcan Cannon. This is what I've been waiting for, guys. Oh, I've wanted to get a Vulcan Cannon online. I have real No! Not another freaking poisoned ship. Right on the wall. What kind of BS is that? Uh, Zell Goddess, you are not playing nice. It's seven. There's seven work left, Zell Goddess. For God's sake. Just get it done. There we go. Mike, we're going to get you a bionic, the left arm. Everyone gets left arms. Bionic left arms. And to do this, Juliet? Oh, let's go with someone who also has some bionic limbs. That's going to be silver-haired devil. Mike, let's go do this. Let's go do this now, man. There's no reason not to, right? Silver-haired devil, you are going to be the one, so to speak. So, uh, don't mess this up. Go ahead and operate. Here we go. This is what it all comes down to. Will this man be happy or will this man hate his life? Uh, I really hope that he, he's happy with this, this arrangement. Come on, Jung. For the love of God, 8.4% chance. Not bad. Here we go. All the cuts are being made. All the cuts are being made, and that, the fact that we didn't have an insane little thing there, means that we have a successful operation. That means that he has a plus 14 for that. That's amazing. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut it there. Guys, I hope that you're enjoying RimWorld Psycho Edition. Tell me about muscle parasites, because I have a feeling it sucks ass. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.